Hello everyone and welcome. You can sense it through the pageantry. They're lining up to boot it away. He'll take the return, try to get better field position. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes and they'll stop him at the 16. So Oklahoma's offense takes the field for the first time today. And here comes their leader, Jesse. He just has a way of elevating everybody's play. And he's a point guard, too. So good at distributing the football. Finds the open guys. He makes this offense go. Makes it go. And just, you can trust him. Everything is available. But you're not playing with one arm behind your back. You've got all guns blazing. The give to the tailback. Works his way into the traffic and picks up three to the 17. You can barely hear yourself thinking here as they're trying to get this defense off to a good start. Using the quick game. Good tackle there to stop him short of the first down, and now they have to make a call. The Sooners send out the punt unit. Gets his first one of the day off. He was called on four times in last week's win. He only needs a sliver of daylight. This guy is a daring punt return man. He's not going to settle for the fair catch. A solid return gets a little bit of ground for the offense. One way to mitigate the explosive capabilities he has on the outside is be physical with him, and this dude will do that. He will do that, and you don't see a lot of offenses take the top off this deep. The expressway is wide open, and you can see the offense just feeling itself. They've got it down to the 21. Defense is going to have their hands full trying to stop this guy. They better rally to the football and get multiple hats because he is not easy to bring down. They'll give it to him again. He rumbles all the way down to the two-yard line. He gave him a little bit of everything on that one. It'll be first and goal from the two. And this offense hoped to just run it in, and the defense was having none of it. No game. Ball remains at the two. Try to barge their way in. Bounces and squirms his way into the end zone for a touchdown. Well, this offense is top ten in the country in points per game because they've got a lot of speed and they've got home run hitters. They score fast. They don't need ten plays to go down the field. You saw it right there. They've recruited well. They've got playmakers. They are going to be a problem for defense all year long. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point is good, and it's 7-0. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And finish the deal with the short touchdown run from the two. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Here come the Sooners, ready to go on offense. Leaves it with the running back. Now after that run, they're in pretty good shape at the 30-yard line. The Sooners in the hurry up. To the air, it's Arnold. Unloads to the wideout. Can't quite make the connection there. Might have led him a little too much. This is where you make the money on the drive. Ball at the 30, it's third and short. Trying to pick it up on the ground. That just never had a chance as they controlled the middle of the field and stopped him in the backfield on third down. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Not going to risk a return here. Calls for the fair catch and makes it just around the 30-yard line. First snap of this drive comes from the 32. They get him at the 42, but he picked up 10 there. He now has 61 yards on the ground so far in this one, and he is closing in on that 1,000-yard mark. And he'll pick up one. It brings up second and nine. Stuck with a running game on first down. Now here they come again. Fast motion from the offense. On second down, wants to throw it. Safe completion on the screen. Didn't have much room to run and not a whole lot of help. Short game there and still plenty of ground to cover for the first down. 
In the gun and looking to throw on third down. He got a hand in there, knocks it away, incomplete. They bring the punter onto the field now. In punt formation to kick it away. Solid punt headed toward the sideline, trying to make it tough to return. Here comes the Oklahoma offense. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit. In this drive. The run to the left. Tackle was made at the 28 after a pickup of three. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. Off the RPO, fire right, trying to convert. Tackled after picking up the first down. And the Sooners come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Third down, a lot of times it comes down to not necessarily who's the most open, who do you trust the most? Oh, it's a fumble! Defense falls on the ball. Going to be a turnover. I tell you, honestly, I don't know what that player could have done to hold on to that football. That defender absolutely popped him. He knocked him into next week. There was no chance he was holding on to that ball. Offense set on first down. Give to the back. And they picked up nine on first down. It'll bring up second and short. Split backs here. From the shotgun, they'll run it. Brought down to the ground, but he has enough for the first down. With a first down, they'll snap it from the 32. They'll run it from the gun. Pulled down after a pickup of Ford in the 27. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Motion by the back forces the defense to adjust. Deep shot for the end zone. And it's a touchdown. You know, oftentimes in college football, the best offenses are the ones that can create explosive plays just like you saw right there. They're top 10 in the nation in points per game because they don't have to drive the field. They've got dudes scattered all over this offense that can take it the distance on any given play. Ready to try the point after. is on for the extra point. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. Guys, let's recap that ranked-on-ranked -ranked matchup that has just gone final. Looking for a gap. It's all Chuck. Works ahead for a couple. They'll stop him at the 27. The Sooners headed quickly to the line. Just feeds the running back. Defense not budging. He's still able to get two to the 29. Now on third down after that run. To the air. It's Arnold. Can't make the connection on third down thanks to that tough, hard-nosed pass defense. And now it's fourth down. Slips through the line. He turns like that or why you don't settle for the fair catch if you don't have to. Picks up just a little bit of yards to help out the O. Moving the running back, trying to get the D to tip its hand. Dumps it off in the flats. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. Let's see what they've got on second down. He's looking to throw. Quick strike complete. Tackled, but he has a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. 
Lost the defense is wide open. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. If I'm the quarterback right here, I hope my play caller is going to let me take another shot. Just got a big gainer. Defense is on their heels. Let's go tempo and let's see if we can catch them napping or misaligned and score a touchdown. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. Noses his way forward, maybe gets one. They'll mark it at the 18. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. They'll give it to the back. He now has 84 yards rushing, and that should be no surprise. He's been among the nation's elite all season. They'll try to power their way ahead. They were all over him. Nowhere to go as that third down play turned into a disaster. Right down the boulevard. It's good. And now the lead is even bigger. After the last drive ended with a field goal, the kickoff team out there to send it away. And they thought about a return, then thought better of it. They'll bring it out to the 25. Time for this Sooner offense to go back to work. To say this has been a slow start is a bit of an understatement, and they really need to get it going here, Jesse. That's right. The opponent, they're firing on all cylinders right out of the gate. Offensively for this unit, they've been slow and struggling. They need an explosive play to wake themselves up. Yeah, and it's just the first quarter, so it's not the end of the world. You've seen slow starts, but you've got to continue to pick and pick and pick until you find that play or, or that scheme that you can use against this defense. A confident, tough, efficient run gets it up to the 44. This offense has a second down play. They're going to test the right side with this one. Still on his feet at the 45. They make the stop, but not before he wraps up this first period with a huge game. How about these two running games so far? Dominance on the ground as we look at the first quarter stats. They'll break the seal on this quarter here on first down. They're going to ride this running back. Lowers those pads. Really nice, patient job to find some running room by this junior. The Sooners come to the line in the hurry up. Using his legs, it's Ocha. They get him stopped after a two yard game. Ball's at the 17. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. The give to the running back from the shotgun. Relying on that running game as they threaten to pick up a four down to the 13. Boy, they'd love to pick up this conversion and go to work with a first and goal. Back to pass, it's Arnold. Going for six. Pulls it in in the end zone. Touchdown, Oklahoma! One of the areas they really focused on with this receiver in the offseason was we need you to make more plays for us in the end zone. When we're taking shots, we need to be able to step up and make tough catches. And David, what a grab right there. And I think a lot of that has to do with trusting your guy, knowing where he's going to be, knowing when he's going to sit down when he's not. So being on the same page and then having a guy that can go get him. Just when the ball is near him, he's going to make the play just like he did right there for six points. And it's up and good as they draw just a touch closer. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. Looking for those open spaces and opportunity. And the returner goes down. So guys, we'll get another look at this offense. Wasting no time throwing on this drive. He's got his man. 
They make the stop, but not before they do their work up top and pick up a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Used to play fake, now to throw. Got rid of it in a hurry, but he couldn't find his man. It's incomplete. Second down coming up. He leaves it with his back. He tried to find some running room, but they get him stopped. Ball's at the 27. This offense facing a third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. Trying to get to it. Forced to just throw it away on third down, and now they face fourth. The punt team makes its way onto the field. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. On the return, it's Ocha. The solid return there offsets some of the punt yardage and really sets up this offense nicely. Guys, we'll get another look at this Oklahoma offense. There's certainly still a hill to climb, but they've got to make sure these drives pay off. Got a touchdown last time. Can they back it up here? Well, and it's amazing in a football game how sometimes they'll surprise you with what you do. Once you get settled, you realize what's going on. Now, I'm comfortable with it. Jesse, this offense looked comfortable on its last drive. They sure did. It looked like they started to find some momentum. So now it's on this defense to stop that, all right? You're a little bit upset based on what just happened the previous drive. You've got to bow up again and go back to what was working earlier in this game. From the gun, running back on the move. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And the Sooners want to crank the tempo. Looking for a man. It's Arnold. Got his man quickly. And that defense is there to guide him out of bounds after a short game. Better find the air plugged. Here comes the noise. Backing this defense on third down. Oh, he dropped it. He had the pick in his hands and a chance for one of his patented big plays. And he couldn't hang on. It'll be fourth down. And they can't get on top of it to down it, so that ball will come out to the 20. Offense getting set for first down. They'll see if they can find some running room on the right here. Got to be smart, patient, great vision. Uses all of that to get to the 29. He's racked up 92 yards on the ground, and he has his eyes fixed on leading the nation in rushing. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Looking for that first down on third and short from the 28. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. He'll make a play on third down. He's got enough for the first as they mark it at the 32. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. He'll do it himself. Picks up the first down. And a really nice run and pick up there before the defense avoided disaster and stopped the really big play. Hand off from the gun. We'll give him a couple on that one. Second and eight coming up. Went with the running game on first down, now back at it. Wide receiver shows motion. They'll switch it up here and look to throw. And they got him for the sack. When it's a play-action pass, that quarterback, he really has to sell the fake. He can't tell his offensive lineman's getting beat right away while he's selling the fake. He had no shot. I'm not positive, but that first down marker might be in the next county. On third and long, he'll need to loosen up that arm. And they won't make the connection, looking to make a big play there. And here comes the punt team. On the move, it's Ocha. Couldn't get away from that cover team, and they've got him down at the 23. Now the Oklahoma offense will go back to work. That last drive won't go on the highlight reel after ending in a punt. They'd like to be more productive this time, David. And I think this offense has to be a little bit more balanced. Find a little balance between the run, Jesse, and working in that pass. And I think, too, David, it's just going to take a spark. It just takes one play to get this thing picked up and going. 
He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. On third and long, hoping to throw beyond the sticks. Caught behind the line. It's Burks. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. He'll get away another punt. He's been really active today. And no doubt he's going to earn his varsity letter. Not able to pop the big return, but they've got the ball back and ready to go with a fresh possession. They've got it first and 10 at the 50. The back goes in motion. Coming out on first down with the play fake. Floats it out in space. And he goes out of bounds after a nice pickup on that one. Set up for second and short after that completion. Brings up second down. He's looking to throw. And the pass is incomplete and charged loose by the hit. Couldn't pick it up on second down. Now they need a couple on third down. On the move. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. So look at this. They're sending out the kicker to try a long one. Well, players don't really like kickers, but if this guy bangs through this 60-yarder, he'll be the toast of the team. As someone once said, from way downtown, bang, outside of 60 yards. After putting up a three spot, the kickoff unit set to go. Just into the end zone, and he'll bring it out. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Here comes the Sooner offense back onto the field. He'll start this drive firing, and he's lucky to get that one back. His junior quarterback knows better than to try that too often. On second and ten, a four wide out set trips right. They'll try the run. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. The Sooners are in the hurry up. Looking to throw, it's Arnold. Pocket starts to collapse. And they're not quite in rhythm there. It's incomplete. They bring the punter onto the field now. And these guys have been busy. Sixth punt of the day. Makes a move. Good job by the coverage unit to stop the return man. The offense lining up for a first down play. From the gun, leaves it on the inside with the back. These guys have really performed at a high level in SEC play, and the task is to try to keep this groove going. Yeah, when you start the season like this, man, this is exactly what you drew up. Win your conference. Be great in your conference. Get to the conference championship. I'm not putting the cart before the horse, Palmer, but great start. No doubt. To win the SEC is a long road. You know about that. I know about that personally. And they just got to take one game at a time. They've done an outstanding job of doing that this year. They're trying to send a message with this running game. He stopped after a pickup of four to the 33. They'll run play action. He'll grab the throw to the sideline and step out of bounds after picking up a few. They've worked it down to the 30. This defense standing tall trying to force a field goal try. Caught near the sidelines. He'll pick up a few before going out of bounds. Moving closer to the red zone, it's at the 27 on first down. Looking to move it through the air. Receiver looks it in, it's complete. They make the stop, but the sweet blowing catch is plenty to give them a first down. Back to the air one more time. It's snagged in the end zone, touchdown! They've extended the lead and taken control here in week nine. Nice job by awareness, too, from that guy. He's working the back line of the end zone. It's so easy to step out of bounds there, but he knew where it was, and when he made the catch, he made sure just to get one toe down to secure the TD. The AT unit on the field. The kick is up and good. It put one more on the lead. We check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? Guys, right back to your game after we update the nation on this one. 
And the return man reaches the end of the line, and down he goes. And the Oklahoma offense will take over first and ten. He's going to pass. And those two couldn't make the connection. It's an incomplete pass. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. Back to pass. It's Arnold. Immediately fires to the middle. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there. Still a bit short of the first down. Takes it from the gun on third down. Oh, he can't hang on. Almost had the interception. And this guy makes so many big plays but couldn't come up with that one. It'll be fourth down. And you make the stop, and that is exactly what you want out of your punt cover unit. Quarterback stands alone, all wide receivers. Looking to go up top on first down. Through his hands and incomplete. He normally makes that catch every time. It's second down. Misfired on the last play. They'll go back to the air. Finds the tight end. And he'll step out of bounds after a very productive play. Ball is at the 42-yard line, close to four-down territory. Here's third and short. Makes the grab inside the 30. Touchdown! This offense is so good. Man, they can hurt you in so many different ways, and they do it so quick, so explosive. They can put small drives together, big drives together. They really had a great year, and that's why they're a top-ten offense. up to add another. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they close the deal with a 58-yard touchdown pass. And no chance at a return here. They'll start this drive at their own 25. So Oklahoma has it again, and here comes the offense. Their drive chart is starting to look a little monotonous. Punt, 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 David. And their defense is starting to get a little frustrated, too. They just keep putting me back on the field, possession after possession. Jesse, this offense needs to get their heads out of there. Lost one deep down the right side. And it's incomplete, going for the massive explosive play instead. They're looking at a third down. From the gun, they'll give it on the inside. They stop him after a short game, probably just wanted to mitigate the losses with fourth down coming. Timeout called here by the defense. It's their first of the half. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Might have thought he'd want to try to pick up a few yards there, but he's content with making the fair catch right around the 35-yard line. Trying to start the drive with a pass. Finds a man in the middle. We've got a timeout in the waning seconds of the half. Maybe a chance to get off a couple more plays. Time dwindling away as they try to put points on the board right before the half. They'll throw it on first down. Just flying through the air like a superhero to make the grab. They'll use a timeout right before halftime. Maybe time for one or two more plays. And this kicker has had a busy night. The field goal unit is out there for the third time. It is perfect. And the field goal to end the half takes us to halftime. We've played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Fellas, you've been calling a great one today from there in Tuscaloosa. Talk about a first half from that dude out of the backfield. He's been a total game changer. And how many top plays moments have we seen on missed tackles alone? Video game moves from one of the shiftiest players in all of college football. And with that said, let's send it back to the guys at Bryant-Denny Stadium. The Sooners will kick it away first and will start the second half. He'll start the return inside his five. 
Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Here comes the offense on first down. Use the play fake now to throw. They've avoided the interception all day, but they're lucky to get that one back here late. It'll be second down. He's looking to throw. He makes the catch close to the sticks, but he'll be a little short of the first down. Ball sitting right at the 30. It'll be third and short. They'll try to run for it. He'll make a play on third down. He's got enough for the first as they mark it at the 32. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Red pass is complete. And oh, did they know that one was coming. They'll knock him down in the backfield. Last play was a near disaster. Now dealing with second and 13. Pre-snap motion quarterback trying to get a read. Got his man on the outside. At the 40, there he goes. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. They'll leave it with him. And I think they'll give him two on that one. Second and eight coming up. Went to the running game on first down. Now here they come again. Give to the running back. And he's brought down after a nice game. They'll put it in play from the 41 on first down. Give to the running back. They'll finally get him on the ground, but not before. He makes it to the 30 and gets a first down. They put this ball on lockdown. Eighth play of the drive coming up. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. Put themselves in a bit of a bind with that last one is second and 14. Running back goes in motion. Takes the easy completion. He's there to make the stop, and they threw it in reverse, losing yardage on that play. On third and long, doesn't need to take the check down. It's complete! A huge pickup! All the way in for the touchdown! A remarkable grab just keeps piling up scores. I was about to say, remarkable day. I mean, a remarkable career. Goodness gracious. And this is a day that you just dream about having. You have these days in high school, but not in college. You're like, dang, this is, this is as good as it gets. Nobody can stop him. He's absolutely in his own. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point just tacks a little bit more onto this huge lead. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. Looks as if the returner will try and field this one. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The Sooner offense returns to the field. They'll run the RPO and fire to the right. And he'll make his way out of bounds after the solid pickup. Kept it on the ground on first down. See if they stick with that plan on second. To throw, it's Arnold. Makes the grab over the middle. Excellent job working through the air. They're finding a hole in that defense and picking up a first down. The gift to the back. Pretty good effort on that one to work his way up to the 42. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. He'll keep it himself. Breaks the tackle. Well, the QB decided to keep it on that one. And listen, if you had his athleticism, you'd want to keep it too. Almost every time they run these types of option plays. But he's just going to have to do a good job of understanding when to hand it off, when to pitch it, and try to keep this defense on their heels and read his keys. He's got a lot of talent. Just got to make sure he's making the right decisions moving forward. They're getting this guy lathered up. Couldn't really get started there. Pick up of one to the 35. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Trying play action. Throws to the wideout. A strike downfield. 
The tackle is made, but he's got it first and goal from the six. And I really like when offenses attack over the middle of the field. Between the linebackers and the safeties, there's usually a soft area that you can usually have some success. And a really nice job by this offense taking advantage of those areas. Completes it along the sidelines, but that'll be for no gain. You know, you know, see, 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 the officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. Quarterback on the keeper. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. The run up the middle, trying to power to the goal line. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. They've gotten pushed back, but it's still third and goal. And the incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. They'll send out the kicker to try to salvage this drive. And he'll try it from the right hash, and the angle shouldn't be too bad from this distance. He splits the uprights and puts three on the board. I wouldn't say they cut into the deficit. They sort of microscopically uh, edged off the deficit. Still a mountain climb. After putting up the field goal, they're set to kick it away. On the run from inside his own five. Good job by the coverage unit to put a stop to that return. First play of this drive comes from the 14-yard line. Out of the gun to give to the back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. Off play action. He hurls one deep down the left side. And that's going to be incomplete, going for broke on second down, but third down's coming up. From the gun, wants to pass. He finds his man. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. You say, why not throw it beyond the sticks? Sometimes you just need to give the punt team some space. They'll put a stop to that return at about the 37-yard line. Here come the Sooners ready to go on offense. Here's the give off the left side. And the defense finally makes the stop after the sweet run and good game. The offense will put it in play from the 47 on first and 10. Power football with the run. Nice move to stay on his feet. And they're able to force him out of bounds after a short pickup. Now on second down. And talk about spreading the ball around. Everyone getting a chance to show off the hands based on the number of targets we've seen. Will the beatdown continue, or is this a comeback for the ages in store? We'll see as we start the fourth. Quarterback wants to throw on second down. Makes the grab. It's Beebe. And they wrap him up, but not before. He gets enough on the catch for the first down. And the Sooners come to the line with a new set of downs. Comes out throwing on first down. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. After misfiring, it's second down. He's looking to throw. And the pass is incomplete thanks to a big hit. A third and long coming up here. From the gun, wants to pass. Strong pass rush gets to the quarterback, and they get him at the 46. Well, the defense is not taking their foot off the gas. They've got a huge lead. We're early in the fourth quarter, and still they're getting pressure on this quarterback registering a sack. Down by multiple possessions. You can't come up empty on this drive. They'll go for it on fourth down. 
He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. And it's incomplete, and the defense holds. On first down, here comes this offense. The give to the back. Shakes off the tackle. Lots of green grass as he gets it to the 31. Big reason why his team has the lead right now late is because of his performance running the football. Well over 100 yards in this game. They knew that they were going to have to really put a lot of pressure on him. He'd have to shoulder the load, and he has delivered for his offense all game long. Offense threatening, first and 10 from the 31. Got the quick pass. Nice pitch and catch there, and they'll have enough for the first down. New set of downs after that completion. And that is another. From the gun, the running back tries to hit the hole. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. To the ground with the back. Not much running room. He's got one down to the 12. Really need to pick up this conversion and avoid having to settle for the field goal. Looking to throw on third. Couldn't quite haul it in. They almost had their first pick here late in the game. This kicker's leg is getting a workout. He's already made three field goals, and here he comes again. Absolutely perfect. And they just tack on a little more to this gargantuan lead. That lead just keeps getting fatter, and this kickoff team doing a little running. And he passes on the touchback. Here he comes. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Here comes the Oklahoma offense. That last drive was promising at times, but stalled out, and they turned it over on downs, Jesse. I think they got to do a better job here, just being better early in the downs, on first down finding positive. Yeah, and it's frustrating when you move the football and get stopped on the other side of the field and get no points. But they've had some success, and I like the aggressiveness. They just got to cash some of these drives in. He almost picked up the first down on that one, but he'll be just a little bit short. They're going to go to the air on third and short. He lets it fly. He's got it all right. And they'll do more than move the chains. They'll move that thing more than 30 yards down the field before he's finally stopped. The offense has struggled. They're not going to win this game. But trust me, this coaching staff is still trying to find things to build off of for next week. And after an explosive play like that, maybe they can generate just a little bit of momentum and gain a little bit of confidence that they can keep coaching up heading into their next game. On the run, it's Beebe. Got enough space. And he'll finish the run in the end zone. Touchdown sooner. Yeah, good for them. They, they put together a drive. They, they got a touchdown. It, it's been a bad day. I mean, this is a day they're going to want to forget. They're getting destroyed. But at least you get some positive vibes. Maybe, maybe finish this game on a little bit of a high note. A little bit. He'll try to tack on one more. Right down the boulevard. Let's go to the studio now and check in with Kevin Connors. Kevin, what do you got? Fellas, I think at least a portion of your audience will have an interest in the one that just finished up. And the returner will be brought down. And the offense will take over first and ten. Leaves it with the back. Tried to move that pile forward. He maybe gets two. He's down at the 21. After picking up a couple at second and eight. From the gun, running back gets the give. Defense there to stop him after a gain of one to the 22. How bold will they be on third down after that last run? Keeps it on the bootleg. Pressure coming. 
And there was nowhere to go for this quarterback, and down he goes. You know, the entire concept of the play-action fake is to slow down the rush. Didn't work. No, they didn't bite on it, which was great defense. They didn't bite on it. They knew it wasn't a run. Played pass, continued to get to the quarterback and get the quarterback on the ground. The punt team makes Number its way onto the field. On they may have to away. pay him overtime. He's punting for the fifth time today. Another punt on the way. Got to make sure those hammies and glutes all activated. Don't want any muscle pulls from overuse. That nifty return sets up the offense and negates some of the yardage on the punt. He wants to throw. Coming after him. And the defense gets to the quarterback. And the sack. And this offense has just struggled. They haven't done anything right. And they got a full quarter to go. Like, they got to find something in this next quarter to hang their hat on. Something to, to leave with some positive vibes. A big play for the defense with the first down sack. Now, advantage D as the offense comes up on second down. He's looking to throw. Going to try to pop one on the screen. They bring him down, but a solid pickup to put them in position to pick up a first down. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. He's going to throw deep right side. And the incomplete pass on third down, but there is a flag on the field. We'll see what that's about. I bet it felt good to hit that quarterback late until you got an earful from the coach and cost your defense 15. They've avoided the interception all day, but they were lucky to get that one back here late. It'll be second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. He wants to pass it on second down. And that's going to fall to the ground incomplete. That was a physical matchup there. Third down coming. From the gun, wants to pass. Going to take a shot. And he just kept running and he ran away from the crowd and he'll take it in. Touchdown, Oklahoma. Nice pitch, nice catch, and listen, maybe this helps next game, right? Like, we're trying to find a rhythm, find something that works, find somebody to go to, and this offense is struggling, you're down by a 1,000, but I like that they continue to fight. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And it's perfect. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. The deficit is huge. This one is all but over, but they'll keep trying and line up for the onside kick. And a few anxious moments, but the hands team is able to fall on it. Here comes the offense onto the field again. Unloads quickly. I like the decision by the quarterback here. Just get the ball out of your hands. Get it to your playmaker. A lot of times he'll dance and make even bigger plays than he did here, but it was still a positive game. The run from the shotgun. Makes the tackle right at the 28-yard line. Pick up a five, and they'll move the sticks. Now on first down from the 28. He's looking to throw it. They're trying to get to it. Couldn't find anybody to throw to. He'll just toss it away. It'll be second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. On second down, he'll let it fly. Pressure's there, and he gets rid of it. Nowhere close on that one as he got drilled trying to deliver the football, and now they face third down. Pulls it on the bootleg fake. Yeah, it fell. And the defense gets home and makes a play at the 37-yard line. And that's an interesting call going play action on third and long because the defense is not worried about you handing the football off. That's not freezing anybody, especially these defensive ends. They're going right up the field. You saw that time the pocket collapse as they were able to get to the quarterback. And they're going to head out to line up for a field goal. This is going to have to be unleashed from 54 yards out. Smashes it between the uprights. And now the lead is extended a little far. 
How nice is it as a head coach to have a kicker like this? It makes these decisions on fourth down so much easier. Just trot him out there and let him stroke it through the uprights. They're really starting to extend that lead as they get ready to kick it away again. The returner will field it and bring it back. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Time for this Sooner offense to go back to work. He wants to start this drive with a pass. The throw. He's got his man. And defensively, this is exactly what you want, right? You've got the big lead, so you can play big zone coverages. Just keep the ball in front of you. Keep your eye on the quarterback. Rally to the football. Gang tackle. You're going to win this game. And the defense makes the immediate tackle, but he has enough for the first down. We've reached the two-minute warning, and we see miracles in college football all of the time, and they could use one here. Just a short pass to the tight end. And this one will be stopped for no gain. They'll line up for a second down play. They keep attacking through the air. Feeling some heat. Oh, he needs to get rid of it. He needs to do something, and he will go down. What a terrible, terrible play and a big loss. Make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. Makes the catch. It's Beebe. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. Down by multiple possessions. They can't come up empty on this drive in the fourth quarter. They'll go for it on fourth down. And it's incomplete way downfield. And the defense rises to the occasion. Short fields make successful offenses just what they want here. Smart move to keep it on the ground. And a decent gain there before the defense makes the stop. Got six on first down. Now a lot of options on second and four. He'll pull it on the read. And it's swept out. Defense swarming on that loose ball. It'll be a turnover. I love those smashes where you can hear it up here, Reese. Goodness gracious, you can hear the contact. Such a big lick. The offensive guy doesn't hold on to the football. Huge momentum swing. Big turnover forced by the defense. Guys, we'll get another look at this Oklahoma offense. This has been a really disappointing performance, David. No question about that. But they can find some positives. Yeah, and every time you watch the tape, you know, Jesse, coaches are pointing out, look at this. This was open if we just ran the details to the right route, had hung on to the football. Little things can make a big difference. Yeah, that's why they call it. Off he goes. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. And here we go. Final play of the game right here. He'll come out throwing on first down. Blasted as he lets it go. Picked off. Got some room to run. He's at the 30. The 10. Touchdown. They extend this fourth quarter lead, and now they are staring at a seven-game winning streak. This, you didn't think it could be any worse, right? You thought this game's over as it is anyway. The offense still throwing the football, still trying to make plays, and the defense just continues to pour it on, gets the pick, makes its way all the way to the end zone. This is what an elite team does. They know they're better. They go out. They take the figurative sledgehammer and hit them right between the eyes. And they just look good in every phase of the game. If I'm on the coaching staff, I don't know what you could ask 
for your guys to do better. I think the challenge now for this team is going out next week and trying to play with the same type of intensity and the same level of execution. Well, Jesse, it's easy to look good on the field when you look that good in your unit. Like, when you look that good coming off the bus, those dudes are good. This is a great team, and they proved it. Just domination from start to finish. So that's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis saying so long. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.